is Sam Newton. I'm the chair of the pastoral council here at Church of the Blessed Sacrament. My wife, Denise, and I and our seven kids, Natalie, Abby, Grace, Charlie, Jack, Pete, and Tommy, have been members at Blessed Sacrament for 26 years. We've seen a lot of those years. Uh, we've had our kids born here, baptized here, first communion, confirmation. We've had two married, and we've had one, unfortunately, buried here. We've seen two bishops, four priests, a handful of deacons, and many seminarians. Uh, we've seen our church evolve in, in structurally by adding heart back hall and putting in portable classrooms. We put on new roofs, new air conditioning units, and, and it, this beautiful sanctuary, the remodel that we did to bring technology to our church so we can actually live stream Mass. Who would have thought that was going to be important until last week? We've seen our, our, our ministries from music to Mass to lectors and servers to outreach in the community to Knights of Columbus and Ladies Mass and teen kids stuff. We've done so much here at Church of the Blessed Sacrament. We embarked on divine renovation where we tried to make ourselves more open, more welcoming, uh, more engaging. We've done alpha, we've done connect groups, things to try to make church more than just Sunday and bring it into the entire week. And most recently, we're working with the entire diocese and we're trying to do a Vision 2030, uniting at heart where we'll all be on the same purpose, plan, and mission. So there's been a lot of great things that have happened in 26 years. Now we have a pandemic. Who'd have thought? Something that nobody wanted, nobody asked for, and nobody caused. It's come across Asia and Europe and now here in the Americas, and it's devastating. People are staying home, kids can't go to school, people are losing their jobs, people are getting sick, and some are even dying. It's nothing that any of us wanted, but it's something that we all have to deal with. So I called Father Ted the other day, I said, hey, how are we doing? And he said, well, I think we're going to be okay. We're going to be no mass for two weeks, which is terrible, it's never happened here. But I think everybody's going to be all right. We're going to relax. We'll get through this. We'll be prayerful. So I tuned in at 8 o'clock on Sunday, waiting for the bishop to talk. And all of a sudden, crash! We lost the Mass. I guess there was a lot of people that tuned in on Sunday morning, and we had a bandwidth issue. Thank goodness Father Ted and the crew did a great job, got us back up at 10 o'clock. But what we learned is that there's a lot of people out there who need to be at Mass. So we started thinking, a week went by, more people sequestered, stay-at-home orders. I called Father Ted again yesterday. I said, how are we doing? He said, Sam, this is tough. He said, there's so much need now and so few resources because nobody can come to church, nobody can help. He said, and not only that, he said, if nobody's at Mass, he said, I can't get a collection and we're down 75% in our weekly giving. 75%. So in a time of need, we don't have the resources and we don't have the opportunity to get those resources. So I told him I'd pray for him. I hung up and said, what can I do? What can I do as just a member of this parish? Because it's more than a parish. It's our family. So what can I do to help? So I started thinking about it. I said, okay, what does any family do when they struggle? They look to each other and they say, right, it's time to come together. We've got to stop thinking about ourselves and start thinking about others. We've got to stop worrying about what we can't control and start looking for opportunities of what we can control. We've got to stop being a defeatist and, and, and blaming and complaining, and we got to start being thankful for the blessings that we do have. So this is my ask. I'm asking you to help me to help our family. If you give through e-giving, please continue. If you give through Faith Direct, please continue. If you mail checks, please continue. If you can dig deep into your heart and make them bigger and make a little more, please do that. If you're a traditional give at church on Sunday when you go, you can't do that right now. We need those resources. I can't ask for your time. I can't ask for your talent because we can't get together. But I can ask for your resources. Please, find a way to get us a check. Find a way to make a donation. Find a way to get that money to church because when the time is right, the needs are huge and we need those resources to help. So that's my ask. It's hard to ask for money. But we need the money. So please, dig deep, be prayerful, think about it, discern on it, and give anything and all that you can because you are helping others and you're helping our family. A great evangelist once said that life is 10% what happens to us and 90% how we react to that. I'm asking you to react in such an incredible, powerful, and purposeful way with your 90% that it will truly have an impact on each and every one of our needy family members in this church.
I wish you the best. I can't wait till we can get back together again, to shake hands, to hug, to share stories, to smile, and to pray together on Sundays at Church of the Blessed Sacrament. God bless each and every one.